Let's build the Audrey 2 feedback synthesizer. This is a collaboration between Nick Donaldson from Infrasonic Audio, who wrote all the code, and me, Roy from CynthioX Academy, who did the interface design. This is a feedback synthesizer with reverb in the feedback loop. Uh, Carpless Strong string going into the reverb filter low pass high pass and back to itself so this is the pitch then it goes into a delay here so we can do stuff like this Quite a rich instrument, really original design. On the Daisy Seed microcontroller, so there are actually no analog circuits here at all. Everything that you're hearing is generated by the Daisy Seed. Let's see how it's built. This is a perfect beginner's build because you actually don't really have any small components here. You just need to connect a few potentiometers, jacks and a switch and you have an instrument. We're going to start with the potentiometers and the jacks. We can follow the diagram on GitHub and make sure that we put the components where they are in the diagram. Once we have that set, we add two washers on this potentiometer and two washers on this potentiometer. What we're trying to do now is to basically close the front panel on top of the components and then solder. This will allow us to keep all the components in place. So no matter if we take off the front panel or put it back, it'll always fit perfectly because the components were soldered with the front panel connected to them. Okay, this looks good. And now we can start soldering all our mechanical components. The switch is the one we're going to be starting with. Note that it's a bit loose and that's okay. It's going to be soldered into the board. And the way that we're going to be doing it is, first of all, we're going to lay the board flat. We're going to add a bit of solder to our soldering iron and then solder only one of the pads. Then we're going to put our finger under the switch and lift it up while the soldering iron is warming up that pad. Then we can take off the soldering iron. The switch is going to cool down and stay in place. Now we can continue to solder the other two pins. and add a touch of solder on the one that we started with. Now let's quickly go through the jacks and the potentiometers. We can solder these quickly. And once we're done with that, we have all the components connected. We can take off the front panel and let's get started with wiring each of the components to the microcontroller. Okay, the next step is to take the yellow wires that came with the kit and connect them all based on the diagram on GitHub. The first thing we need to do is to connect the ground. We have two grounds, digital and analog, and we have VCC. 
the ground on the left is going to be connected to pin 48, VCC to pin 29. And the ground on the right is going to be connected to pin 20. And with this out of the way, we can now connect all the rest of the wires from left to right. So we start with the potentiometer that's on footprint 9. And at the bottom, we can see that there is a corresponding number. So that potentiometer is actually connected internally to pin 9 or to pad 9 at the bottom. So we would take pad 9 and connect it to pad 40 at the bottom row. That is where pin 40 of the daisy seed is connected. From here you can simply continue following the diagram on GitHub and when you're done, the build itself is pretty much ready. The only thing left to do is to upload the synthesizer program on the daisy. So we're going to be doing this in the next step. Last thing we need to do before we can actually close the front panel and start to play the instrument is to install the program on the microcontroller. The way we do this is in two steps. First of all, we go to GitHub and we download the bin file. And then the second step is to go to electrosmith.github.io slash programmer. This is the daisy programmer and flash the code from there. We need to press boot reset on our DAISY. This allows us to install a new program on the DAISY itself. On the programmer, click connect and choose your DAISY. Now click choose file and navigate to where you saved the bin file. Select and click program. Once it's done, you should be able to hear sound from the two outputs. We can now put the front panel on top. Close with all the nuts. You don't need any tools for that. You can just use your hands and stick the knobs in the right place. Enjoy your new instrument. If you want to take it a step further and you want to learn how to program this particular instrument, I would encourage you to go to GitHub and look into the code itself. This is an educational program and the whole idea is to allow you to play around with code. So if you maybe have some experience with C++, this would be a great opportunity to look into the digital signal processing that Nick from Infrasonic Audio wrote for this instrument and try to understand what exactly he did there. You can also join the workshops and courses on learn.synthex.academy to learn more. And um, yeah, enjoy the process. Thanks so much for joining the community and supporting the project. And we'll see you online.